Hey folks, here's my review of the Hyper electric bike. It's 26 inch rims, 6 speed twist shifters with Shimano rear derailleur, premium padded and adjustable saddle, alloy wheels and three piece cranks. It's called the E-Ride Mountain. Don't let this fool you, this is not a mountain bike. This is a roadster. And uh, I wouldn't take this on the... I wouldn't ride it like a BMX bike. I saw a lot of videos where people were trying to ride it over hills uh, and going over jumps and stuff. No, it's not for that. But it's a great cruiser. Okay, here's the E ride. Fully assembled. There we go. And uh, these mud flaps don't come with the bike. The lock and the seat padding doesn't come with the bike. I added those because the seat is pretty, it's pretty hard. And uh, there's some assembly required. You've got to assemble the front wheel. And I'll show you the, uh, this is the console here. There we go. On, off. Okay. First, let's start with the uh, batteries here. You turn it on, hold that for a few seconds till the lights turn green. And then you turn the power on here. And we got level one, full charge, four wires. Level one, level two, level three is the fastest. And you can go like 30 kilometers an hour. It's pretty fast. And if you wanna walk the bike, you press this button and it makes the wheels there see the wheels just turned on me <laughs> it'll walk for you six kilometers uh, if you want to walk the bike you, you hold this down and it makes the see the wheels want to go I'm just pressing that button see? so there's the shifter it's a twist shift and let me see what else. Okay, so I had a problem here with one of these spokes. Now, one of these spokes was loose. Now, where is that loose one? There's a loose one here somewhere. Is it here? Sorry folks, uh, okay here it is, here's the loose spoke. So I uh, tried to tighten this but for some reason it won't, it keeps snapping back. So I told, I phoned the customer service and they're, they're great. Customer service is awesome. They sent me a whole new rim, a whole new back wheel and uh, Free of charge and they sent me this I uh, got it the other day now I do have to install it I'll uh, I won't be doing that today because uh, I still have to learn how to do that but the company is great uh, it's customer service they stand behind their product there's the motor it's inside the hub and the pedals you have to install you just have to screw them on here and uh, tighten it here and on the other side there's the port for the uh, to charge the bike you just open this or you can take the battery out there we go and there's the port for the charger I usually charge it right in my garage. And that's it. 
this bike seat is very hard so I bought this foam padding got it at the dollar store and uh, it helps a lot the uh, front forks there they do have movement um, but for cruising around city streets it's fine it's not a mountain bike per se uh, it's a mountain bike but it's not an off-road bike if that makes sense it's not for jumping off hills and doing stunts but if you drive it like a normal bike this is uh, one to get it's really a game changer for people older people even younger people for going up hills and all that kind of stuff and uh, the speed is great and I haven't had a problem with it except that loose spoke and if I have more problems I just it's under warranty for one year so do I recommend this I really recommend it their customer service is great as I told you they sent me the rear wheel and um, the customer service is great they're on the ball they really stand behind their product and what can you say I, I give this this bike five stars for what it is it's a uh, it's a few hundred bucks I think I paid 400 with tax or 450 something like that that's Canadian it has uh, V brakes on both sides there's no disc which is fine for me and uh, there's some assembly but if you go if you uh, go on YouTube you'll find uh, some some repairs not some repairs some installation instructions so do I recommend it of course There you go, the Hyper E-Ride Mountain electric bike. The battery lasts about, oh, I would say an hour. And the, um, it should go about 30 miles on a full charge. Always remember to charge it after every ride to keep the battery in good condition. And um, oh, what else did I forget? It's got Shimano derailers right there. Oops. I know a lot of you guys complain about the movement of my camera, but it's not on a tripod, and I'm doing the best I can. So, uh, for a cheap bike, an affordable bike this is the one to get yes you can spend two thousand dollars on a good bike but I didn't need it um, I didn't need that to spend that kind of money because I'm not I'm a casual rider but I it's really gotten me out of the uh, out on the bike once again and uh, it gives you a little bit of exercise you do have the pedal, it's a pedal assist. I can't show that for you, but you just have to fake pedal and it, the motor kicks in. So even when you're going up a hill, you just keep fake pedaling. There's hardly any pressure. But as long as your legs are moving, you're getting some exercise. So there you go, folks. The Hyper E-Ride mountain bike. Check it out.